Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can build a beautiful hero section like this, full width with products that you can link back to any WooCommerce section. As you can see, we have a call to action button here, very nice heading and the image. And now those icons here with images inside them. And if you hover on top, it will slide automatically to the next one. And as you can see, we'll show you the product, which will help you to showcase your product in a beautiful manner. It looks very professional. And I'm going to show you how to do this start to finish. And then we'll have a second type as well. As you can see, we have a camera here and the call to action button. And then if you hover on any of those tabs, it will slide from one to the other, as you can see. And also a white line here on top to indicate which slider we're on. So this is a very beautiful way of displaying your products on the homepage, perhaps, or in your hero section. Okay, very good. So for this project, we only need two tools. Well, the first one is the plus add-ons for Elementor. So this is the pro version that we are going to use. And we also need Elementor itself. And this is the free version that we're going to use. Okay, so let's go ahead with this. And as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. So first we need to create our three slides. So for this, we need to create three separate uh, templates. Okay, so let's start with this. So templates, add new, and let's create our first one. So this is a section. So let's give it a name. So maybe we call this one camera slide one. So let's create our template. There you go. And as you see by default, Elementor will give you all these different options. You can close that window because we're going to start everything from scratch. Very good. So now we can create our structure. So let's click on this, select a double structure like this one. So on one side, we'll have a bit of text, a heading and uh, the text. And on this side, we'll have the picture. So first, let's take care of our section itself. So let's click on this. Uh, we're going to select boxed and the height. We're going to set a minimum height of 800 pixels to start with. And then for the column position here, select middle as well. So all the items we're going to add will be centered equally uh, in the middle. And then we can change the background color. So we go to style. We're going to add a gradient color. So the first one, we're going to select a dark brown. Very good. And the second one, we're going to copy the same color here, dark brown, but we're going to select a slightly lighter shade. As you can see, this is a gradient. And these are very rich color indeed. And now we can add a heading here. So let's go ahead with this so heading and we're going to add some text underneath. There you go. Very good. So now we can change the, ti the title here. So let's change this to best camera N66A and then we can stylize it a little bit. OK, so we're going to change the color to white. Very good. And then we can change the font a little bit. Let's make it bigger. So let's try maybe. Let's see. Um, no, that's too big. Maybe. 47 would be part, part perfect and the thickness let's go ultra bold maybe 900 now let's take care of our text here so here you can type everything you want really you know this is just simple text and again we can change the style let's change the color and let's add uh, maybe an off-white maybe grayish like this would be just about perfect now let's add a call to action button here so we're going to look for buttons and we're going to select one from the plus add-on as well. So this one is called advanced buttons. Is this one here, you know, so drag and drop. Very good. So as you can see, you have different types. You have CTA, so a call to action. This is exactly what we want. And we're going to select style two. And let's call this one by now. OK, now, as you can see, there's not enough contrast. So let's go to style. Let's change the color first. So let's change this to white. Again, there you go. And let's make this a little bit bigger because obviously it is too small at the moment. So let's go to typography. Uh, let's select a font, maybe Poppins. It's a very popular one. So let's make make it uh, maybe 30. And the thickness maybe, let's go 900 for ultra bold like this, you know. Maybe not 900, hold on, that's too thick. That's uh, 600. There you go. That's perfect now. So as you can see, if you hover on top, you have this effect which looks very, very nice. Now let's add our image here. So let's go back to our widgets here. So image, image, where is it here? So drag and drop. And now let's select our image. So I've uploaded a few files already. So this is a camera, as you can see, insert image. Very good. So now that's a little bit too big, as you can see, you know, so you might reduce the size a little bit slightly. And for this, we're going to go to style. And as you can see, you have the width here. So we can select in percentage. Let's make it 75%. Yes, perfect. That looks very good now. OK, so we have our template number one created. So let's click publish. And now we can do the same with the other two. So let's go ahead with this. 
So basically just like that, as you can see now you have camera, mobile and watch. So let me show you what they look like. So this is the one for the mobile phone and this is the one for the watch. So there is one thing I had to change because it wasn't fully centered. I had to click on this section here on the column and select vertical align middle so that the text and every, all the content here is centered as well within uh, that section because the section was centered in the middle but not the content so now it looks absolutely perfect and evenly balanced so there you go so we have our three slides now very good and now we can create our page so let's imagine you're creating your home page you want that hero section to be right on top so we can do that together so let's create a page so pages so let's create a new one all together so add new very good so let's give it a title so test page so publish publish and now let's edit with elementor very good so for this page the best thing to do is to work off a clean canvas now you can use your actual template with your menu section and the footer section this is really up to you but for this example we're going to use a blank canvas all together so we're going to go to settings here and we're going to select elementor canvas so we have a blank slate all together it's easier neater for us to work from very good so let's create our structure so the first one will be a full width and we're going to make sure this is full width so we're going to select full width and also make sure there is no gap around it and now we can insert our widget so the one we're going to use is called carousel anything so this is again from the plus add-ons so let's add this here very good and as you can see by the side we have slide one and slide two so we can go ahead with this now so let's tweak slide one so the first one was a camera wasn't it and which type of template is this is it a short code or a template it is a template so this is the one we created and now we can select it so as you can see camera slide one so this is the one that we created boom as you can see there it is let's take care of slide two so slide two was let's say a mobile phone okay again this is a template so let's select mobile slide two and then we can add an extra one now so add item as you can see this one will be called watch the template again and let's select our watch now as you can see we have our three slides so they might auto play automatically you know as we as we work on this so we might disable the auto play look at this that looks fantastic already you know? so if you go to style here you can always enable it afterwards you know so let's disable this it's just going to be easier for us uh, for our working space and also we're going to remove those three dots here at the bottom for scrolling so uh, let's remove this together show dots no so there you go so now i'm going to show you two different methods so one will be using text and icons so as you can click on them it will scroll from one slide to the other and then the second method is using small images as icons that we can click on as i showed you at the uh, start of this video okay so let's go ahead with the very first one so the widget that we are going to use is called process steps it's a very powerful tool yet again you know so first we have to go into the content and give this uh, carousel a specific id so let's call this one product slider let's keep it simple okay and now we can insert our widget at the bottom so let's go back here and let's look for process steps so this is the one drag and drop underneath here at the bottom so there you go if you scroll down a little bit as you can see with those three icons with some text by the side and they're right here so the first thing we need to do is to change this from vertical to horizontal very good and now we need to remove the title and the text as well so we click on these so we can delete the, uh, the title and the text as well and we do the same with the other three the other two so that looks better already and now as you can see we have an option here carousel anything connection so let's enable this and as you can see it's requesting an id so this is the id of those sliders we created okay so Control v and then we can select the effect will it work on hover or on click so let's put this to the test now on hover mode so as you can see if you hover on top it will show a different image altogether. so let's go back to the first one as you can see this is working great already so now as you can see we have a few different icons here so what we want is the actual image of each slide so we can click on each one of them scroll down the options and as you can see at the moment it is an icon so let me scroll down a little bit so there you go so now we can change this to an image so let's select image and now we can add our image so the very first one is the camera let's select the camera insert very good and now we can do the same with the other two so let's close this one so there you go as you can see now we have the camera here this one is the mobile phone and this is the watch 
Now the only issue we're having now, it's at the bottom, it should be on top here, uh, basically as an overlay, okay? So let's take care of this as well now. For this, we can just re reduce the margin altogether, you know? So we go to advanced, let's go to layout, and right here, so unlink this, and just on top, I think maybe, let's try minus 150, not 150, sorry, minus 150. Oh, there you go, that looks good. So this seems okay to me, maybe a bit higher. So let's try the other way around. So maybe 160, there you go. So let's put this to the test. So if we hover on the camera, there you go. Let's try the mobile phone and this is the watch. So doesn't that look fantastic guys? I think it looks fantastic. Now, when this looks absolutely fine, there is one last thing we can add to make it pop really, you know? So we go back to content here. There you go. And as you can see, you have a special background. Now, so let's enable this and watch out. Look at that. Now, doesn't that look good, to be honest? Look at this. Very professional, doesn't it? So as you can see, this is how you can design this using these images. Now, let me show you step number two using icons and text. Okay, so for this, we can delete our section here. So delete. And we're going to add our new section. So this time, we're going to use a different widget, which is called tabs and tools so let's look for this so there it is again this is from the plus add-ons so let's drag and drop on our page very good and as you can see here we have uh, two tabs and if you click on either of them it will reveal some content so what we need to do now is to take care of this so let's go here and customize this so the first one was a camera now we can delete the content here we do the same with the second one so the second one was a mobile and let's delete the text and then we can add a third one and this one was a watch and again let's delete our content okay so we have our three tabs now and now we need to link this to our actual slides so this is the same principle basically we go to extra options carousel id and yes and there it is so if we click on any of them it should slide from one to the other very good so this is working very good. So at the moment, as you can see, we have a plus sign next to each other. So we can actually replace this with an actual icon. So let's click on the camera here and we're going to replace this with an actual camera, you know. So as you can see at the moment is the plus sign. So let's look for camera. And let's do the same with the other two. So there you go, something like that, you know, as you can see now we have a camera, a mobile phone and a watch, uh, a clock next to the watch. Now we don't have to click on it, you know, I'm going to change this on hover. So we go to layout and then here, there it is. So on hover tab, so enable this. Very good. And make sure that the layout is horizontal here as well, you know, just to be on the safe side. So now normally if we just hover on top, it should slide to one uh, from one to the other. Very good. So this is working as well. So again, the problem we're having here is that it's too low, it's at the bottom here, so it should be on top as an overlay, so it should display roughly about here. So for this, we go to advanced again, and we go to layout, and unlink, and let's try maybe minus 85. I'm going to try this, not 85 again, minus 85. Yeah, maybe let's try minus 87, minus 90. There you go, perfect. Now, as you can see, there is no contrast, we can read anything here, so we go to style. And we can change the font color as you can see with the icon here so let's select maybe white very good and then we go to title bar as well and we can change the font color where is it right here and again there you go and active mode and normal mode so as you can see we'll change color for the active one so we can change maybe to another color let's say a grayish or whichever you know or maybe yellow altogether would be not too bad i'd say you know there you go so this is fine now so we have this contrast so now they're all cramped up in the corner here so there is something we can use is nav full width so if we enable this as you can see now they're spaced up equally evenly uh, throughout the whole uh, width of the, our slider and then let's make them a little bit bigger because the font is a bit on the small size now isn't it so let's click on this and we can select a bigger font so let's play with this a little bit so let's say maybe yeah i'd say about 25 will be 24 maybe we can change the um, the thickness as well so let's try 900 yeah that looks good i think yeah perfect and now we can change the size of our icon as well obviously you know so we go back to icon here and size so we can increase that a little bit not too much but a tad you know maybe just about there Perfect. Okay, now we have both the font and the icon at the right size. Now let's add a background to add even more contrast. 
Okay, so for this, we go to navigation area background and we can add a background color. So where is this one? Uh, let me see uh, right here, I think. Background type, there you go, color. And let's add white. And let's add a little bit of transparency, you know, because this is obviously not readable. So maybe a shade like this. This is just perfect. Now, as you can see, there's still a little bit of gap here between the bottom of this one and the rest of the section. So for this, we basically go back to advanced. And remember, we set this to minus 90. So there was too much. So we have to go back the other way. And let's find the perfect position, which is right here. Minus 80. Perfect. Now, as a visual aid to help us know on which uh, slide we actually are, let's add a little border here on top for the active one, okay? So we go back to style, uh, title bar and background. So let's scroll down and let's enable, enable box border right here, okay? So we're gonna select a uh, solid one. Let's unlink this. Let's make the top one maybe, let's say five, and then the others zero altogether. So we don't want to see them. Very good. So as you can see, now we have a black line here on top of each one of them. And uh, let's tweak this a little bit now. So in active mode, we want it to be white. As you can see, now we know which one is active. We know this is the watch. This is the mobile. And for the others, uh, let's go in normal mode. This time we're going to select another color. So white again, but almost transparent. There you go. Perfect. And now let's put this to the test. So if I hover on top of mobile or watch, as you can see, now we have that white line on top and we know exactly which is the active slider. So there you go, guys. This is how you can design a beautiful product slider full width using the plus add-ons for Elementor. Now, if you're interested in this solution, as always, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I think there's a coupon code as well where you can save 10% on your purchase. Very good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.